Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul, East X Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I am joined on mic by Tyler. Hello, guys. Good old Tyler is here with me to play Rise of Insanity for Xbox One. It is also available on Steam, but not PlayStation. In your face, Tyler. Oh, no. I'm going to sell mine right now. You're really missing out. Yep, pretty long startup sequence here. <laughs> Tech guy says that his insanity rose as he worked at Walmart. <laughs> Not surprising. Yep, retail can be very stressful. I'm told, so Halloween is next week, so we thought it would be fun to stream a creepy game, and this is the only one that we got codes for, so perfect choice. Have a look at the settings, gameplay, language English, subtitles on, head bobbing. I don't really like head bobbing. What do you think? Head bobbing's an option. Yeah. Yeah, because this probably was a computer game first, and they've just nicely included that option. Turn off the head bob. Bob. All right, here it goes. So I hear this. Uh, it's got frightening scenes and sudden increases of tension. If oh you have... man. Don't play if you have weak heart or epilepsy. Yeah, on Halloween itself, if I'm not real busy, then I would like to have a midweek stream. And if I do that, I hope you guys will support it by tuning in. Too spooky for me. So we got some narration. Out of control. You ceased to behave normally. And disturbing thoughts took control. Uh, can't let the disturbing thoughts take over. My original Probably so, my so Mitch. And that's one of the games that I sold on eBay recently. Eternal Darkness Part 2. Is wasn't there an N64 Eternal Darkness, Tyler? Um, I don't think so. Okay, maybe I'm remembering know. wrong. Maybe there's only the one GameCube Eternal Darkness and that's it. Oh, we got some live action video here. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Sabota, glad to see you. Mongbox, I am not a screamer. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's what it was. My Mitch has refreshed my memory. Yeah, I sold Eternal Darkness and Skies of Arcadia for GameCube. Hey, Stotch. Look who it is, Tyler, your friend, Professor Stotch. There he is. I don't know any kung fu. Tyler might. Oh, what's that? I do, but I'm not on camera, so I can't do a roundhouse <laughs> kick or anything cool. You can only metaphorically hold my hand. <laughs> All these creepy videos of birds right now. Yeah, it's weird. I've done a roundhouse kick. I don't know if I could do one nowadays. I like doing jump kicks. He doesn't enjoy a good jump kick once in a while. Nobody I trust. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Turn your volume down. I hear Paul screams very loud and high pitched. Oh, come on. Uh, you can't either, Tyler. He's calling you out. I can do a roundhouse kick. <laughs> no problem. I'll do one right now. You do it, Tyler. Just don't knock anything down. Yeah, I'll try not to. So I've just woken up. I'm at a desk. Maybe I am the doctor who was on that video? Let's see. Patient Edward, and Edward is misspelled. Test a new therapy, waiting for results. Oh, but it's spelled correctly here. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, how do I put it away? A. All right. The patient's data. Edward. A little audio. 41 years old. Day, September 1st. I know yeah, Edward is far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. But from the it does have subtitles. I got to know that he suffers sure, from they're a little small, small for my screen, but... Good luck, everybody. Hey, it's Philosophy. I haven't seen him in a while. As well as a memory disorder. Icky, don't forget Sometimes to get that guy's email address from last week if he's here. A couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected There's with this case, snucks? but it's too early for Gazzer? a detailed diagnosis. Snooks. Snooks? Oh, my bad. I think that's how it's pronounced. Ah. 
Icky does a roundhouse kick. No, he does a Spartan kick, he says. That I don't... is a Spartan kick. I don't think that's oh, a real that... thing. Is that like the 300 kick where he like, front kicks the dude into the hole? <laughs> Maybe so. This is Sparta! You can't walk very fast. Graphics are pretty good. It runs a lot better than Layers of Insanity, so it's already beating it there. Also, the voice actor is better. Layers of Insanity had that guy, he's like, um, I used to be a painter, and that's how he talks. <laughs> layers of Fear. Oh, yeah, sorry, Layers of Fear. There's so many layers, Tyler, it, it's hard to keep them all straight. Ooh, Peach Ball. Yeah, guys, we got a bunch of Steam codes for this. Somebody with a computer needs to try to win the Steam copies. One per person, of course. So this game has a lot of picking things up. And look, I found an old-fashioned toy car. It's like a Pinewood Derby car with a little guy inside. But you don't get to carry the things around. And that's no fun, just looking at it and putting it back where it goes. Tyler, you never played one of the Elder Scrolls games, did you? No, they're not really my thing. Well, how would you know if you never tried one? Um, I tried a little bit of one of them. First-person oh. stuff never clicks a lot with me i see i see so you might like dragon's dogma better that's third person yeah i would be interested in that one but i brought it up because one of my favorite things to do in that in the elder scrolls games is to pick things up and play around with them manipulate them throw them around and what's that other game dis uh it starts the bethesda game that starts with a d dishonored uh... Oh yeah, Dishonored. Yeah, Dishonored lets you carry bodies around and, you know, stack them and do silly things. That's pretty silly. Yeah, they kind of have, like, sandbox worlds. <laughs> Isn't Fallout kind of like that, too? Yeah, I believe so. Same engine. Yeah, and that's really fun. I Even in the old PC days, in the Ultima games, when I would play them at a friend's house, I liked doing that. A mother and child were murdered. A mother and child were murdered. Why does it give me a dumb pop-up when Icky edits the prize file? We used to manually send text files back and forth with the codes and the winners, but now we have a shared file. It's much better. Oh, it's good. So that's the right way to go. I want to go this way first. I don't know what this game's achievements are like, if it has collectibles or anything like that. The walking speed is going to be the most annoying thing about it. But at least it runs quite well good textures too I would say oh sheet music let's have a look madness symphony that's how you build atmosphere Tyler love a good atmosphere you have to you just have to so you just look at things and then the interactive little bubble pops up as yeah. you're looking at it basically that's kind of nice yeah so um, the only thing is, some people would consider a game like this to be a walking simulator. Uh, yeah, that's what I'd call it. But we, we can't hope that there will be some excitement. Because uh, games like that, do they actually have moments of excitement? I mean, it's like a scary walking simulator instead of like a mystery Monday. walking simulator. Yeah, I guess that's a way to put it. And there was just a voice that told me to turn off the TV. Name of student, Theodore Dowell. Oh, he only made a B in English. He's no student of mine. Okay. <laughs> no. Look, his name's misspelled, too. Was it really? Yeah, there wasn't an E on the end. I've never seen uh, it. Yeah, because, you know, this was made in Europe, so that may be the correct yeah. spelling in their country. It's the only thing. Okay, turned off the TV like the voice said. Now what? hear a phone call but where wish there was a visual indicator or a flashlight yeah dear mrs. Dowell I would like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in the development of one part of the garden therefore my decision was to mainly plant dahlias I have accentuated them with clematis clamato flowers 
You ever had a Clamato? They're pretty good. I surrounded everything I with white like poppies. Them. You will be delighted, Edward. Yeah, um, but of course, no one under 21 should drink Clamato. Alright, where do we... There it is, found the phone. Good. Clamato is just the tomato juice, isn't it? Hey, Epic Quiet. Oh, you're right, maybe it is. Because it is a flavor yeah, of something Yeah, chalada or something like that is the beer oh. tomato mix. Something like that, I can't remember what it's called. Clamato, right. I think, is just the tomato juice. All right, well, I also don't think young people should drink tomato juice. You happy now, Tyler? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't think anyone should drink tomato juice. <laughs> it's nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for ID purposes. Patient Edward Another 41. recording, let's hear it. Day, September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor, and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. This writing is a little better than know about it the English night. writing. Better than layers of fear uh, as well. Case than I it's good. Some symptoms indicate and it is by the same company, or it's not by the same company? No, it's not. It's just that I read but reviews that said it was similar. They're, they're similar, I yeah. see. Abraham. And they are the same kind of game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I hope there's at least one jump scare, because the kids want to see it. Alcohol <laughs> effect is a drug effect. You got that, kids? Why America went dry. The alcohol that every alcoholic liquor contains is a narcotic drug. It injures body cells, especially brain and nerve cells, first in their action, later in form. Thus, it disorders for a short time, or permanently have continued nerve control of the body. Reason, will, self-control, which is misspelled and morals. You hear that, Daddy? The alcoholic is a drug addict. That's cold. Hey, that? Chicago! Good to see you! Where you, you been, that? Chicago? Okay, daughter. So, this appears to take place within Prohibition-era times, which was, what, the 1920s? Yeah. It's hard to imagine life being like that. Yes, it is. Um, so, ah, Chicago's been busy with work. What about Firelight, Chicago? We haven't seen her in a while either. Tell her we miss her. Especially Tyler. He misses her a little too much. You might want to be concerned. <laughs> An uncomfortable amount. <laughs> so, Tyler, I heard you had a date recently. Yeah, it didn't go so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How's your cheek? It's better than my leg when I fell out of a tree. <laughs> You're right, I would hope somebody couldn't slap you that hard. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Never. You can watch, but don't be distracting me. Oh, there was somebody walking around in the distance. Wait, what That's Rise of Insanity. That was some genuine creepiness. I wonder if you can die in this game, because that's why Layers of Fear isn't very scary to me, is that I don't think there's any losing conditions. Yeah, I doubt you can die, but maybe. It is really it dark, seems... you guys. Yay, thank you, BX Latino! It's like a exploration, first-person narrative game type of thing. Seems that way. Okay, there is a brightness option. We're going to turn it up some just to make it better for the viewers. Yeah. Although that does... Yeah, you can see a lot more detail that way. The key to her heart Hi, is... Hi, Icky! Icky's not on mic. The key to her heart is located where your journey began. Oh, there's Kronzenberg. Icky, please get Kronzenberg's email address. Yeah, he messaged him already, I think. Oh, good, good. Oh, look, there's a padlock sequence, but how am I... Press A to skip. So I have to go find out the combination of that door. Congratulations on winning last week, Kronzenberg. We just need to get you signed up for the mailing list. Here's a Rorschach test. Paper, Icky said hi, India. Wait, Daddy, give me paper and pen. Um, okay, paper? Here, here's paper on your little notebook. Oh, there's a pen right there. So it doesn't get lost. 
Oh look, and I found another toy. It's wooden train. Those should be collectibles. If you're gonna have collectibles, they might as well be wooden, old-fashioned toys. No. Okay, we're trying to be play a spooky game. Look, it's cute. Just will brighten everyone. Hold on, did the did the train have any clues to the combination? Does anyone want to look up the combination online and just tell us? Because that would be a lot better than having to fumble with it. That's not yeah, solving the puzzle. I know, but the walking speed is so slow, Tyler. There's no run button. Indiana, yes, that is true. Indiana Jones? Um, yeah, somebody's over here wanting attention. No. You don't say. Yeah, for real, somebody hey. in the audience, please look up the... No, it does not have to be. Get that off of the camera. Okay. Go sit down. One. No. Ah! That was creepy. I'm looking no, for a guide, but I'm not. Thank you for looking. One. Oh, that sucks. Wait, it looks oh, like it's there somewhere, but it's talking about like a lot of different things. Yeah. Uh, just search for the word lock. That would be what I would do. Control oh, F. You can know. I type something? No. Why? Can I say hi to Icky? You already did. No, it didn't. Um, is it like a jail lock or what kind of? What it's, is it? You know, it's a padlock or like a bike lock, really, on a door. Yeah, it's either go back upstairs, which I definitely don't want to do, given how horribly slow the movement is. Yeah, somewhere there must be numbers. It's three-digit code. It's numbers, not letters. Numbers. And it says a key to her heart is located where your journey began, so I think it wants me to backtrack. But we don't want to do that. Yeah, that's a good observation, Darker Player. Oh, great, Kronzenberg. Thank you. Did you sign up for it with your username? Because I, like, when I looked, I mean, I only looked last week, but I couldn't tell that you had, that you were a member. You stand before a desk, you go into the living room and the office. Yeah, this is the after... End of the... oh, sorry. The this end is... of the hallway is a code lock, is that what it is? Yeah. But it says letters, use code unlock, oh. Oh, um, this is after an elevator. Oh. Hey, Link, it's good to see you. How you been, Link? To find the code, go to the room where the eyes are examined. And it doesn't just tell you? Nope. God, that does mean backtracking all the way. Mm. That guy'd really let us down. Is there not one on Steam? Steam would be another good place to look for this I kind of I think they're in Russian. Ugh. That's another issue with Steam. It's international nature. Back up we go. Needless forced backtracking. What else are you going to do in a game like this? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, Darker Player is observing that Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom actually chronologically takes place before Raiders of the Lost Ark. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Try... <laughs> scare me a little. You can try 629 if you want. I don't know how close you are to where you are going. Uh, but it says... The hospital, the lock in the hospital. Are you in a hospital? Maybe. I found other rooms. Uh, so that was a jump scare, you guys. Did you see me jump? I jumped a little. Vision can be saved. 50% of babies born with syphilis have impaired eyesight. Consult a reputable ph physician. Mother and 7-year-old son murdered. That's not good. There it says 099, so that might be it, but I don't. What you said also might be it. Bong box, did you see it? You probably missed it. Oh, here's. No. 629. It is what you just said, Tyler. Oh, okay. Well, I found it now that you made it all the way back. Yeah. Thanks for saving me all that effort. <laughs> yep, no problem. What are friends for? Dr. Sabota. 
says that was trolling or something. Down we go. You got it, Jordan. What's everybody else been playing this week? You know, I'm supposed to review Warriors Orochi 4, which is a game I'm very excited for. But, and they gave me a pre-order code. You know, like, they gave me the kind of code that doesn't unlock until release day. But having already redeemed it, my Xbox still thinks that it has not come out. This is the second time that's happened to me over the years. So I can't launch the game because it thinks it's not out yet. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's annoying. Very annoying. I already submitted a bug report, but I'm going to need to try to contact Microsoft customer support or something. Because, I mean, tomorrow is like my chance to... Whoa, what was that? 629, right? Yeah. I'd better get at least one achievement from this. I mean, I got one from Left 4 Dead, and that was awesome. But... Yes, there we go. That was my achievement. I check. What the heck? Ah! There's some banging on the walls. Friday the 13th. Yeah, Wolf Blade, you really should get it. I would love to play with you and Thyrenia. I mean, I don't, I don't know if we can... It's probably only two-player, but we could still try. No match is what this says. Pizza delivery guy, that was last week's stream. Remember that? That was so fun. What the heck? Uh, I hear some banging. It's still really dark, even with the brightness jacked up. Yo, homie Drew, glad to see you. Why is your name white tonight? Oh, this shelf fell over. Oh, now we can't go back in there. That's annoying. Is there nowhere else to go? I don't really want to go out. Yeah, Pizza Titan Ultra was last week. I highly recommend that game, you guys. It was so fun. Ah! Just crying and... Oh no, everything's red and spooky. Ah! Ah! Oh god, thank you, homie Drew. Jeez. There was a ghost lady. Oh, look, and now I'm in a room with a bird. Ah, what the... I don't know what's happening. What the heck? Was that supposed to happen? I don't know if I did that right. Let's try again. Okay, you have to navigate around the obstacles in this sequence. It's like a, you're automatically moving, so it's kind of like being on a roller coaster, but you have to navigate. It's on rails, Tyler, that's what I mean to say. Ah, uh, like a roller coaster would be. Yeah, there you go. Man, I make good analogies. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks for the cheer, homie Drew. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I picked quiet. What exactly was going on? This is weird. What are we doing in this weird red roller? Oh, there's birds. No, leave me alone. Oh lordy. Oh, oh look, I'm making it to the end. Let's get it. Let's go into the light. Oh, now there's a phone ringing. But I didn't even look around when I was in the other place. Okay, let's just answer the phone. Gain control over him, please. Gain control over him? Nobody would ever say that. So we've got some loading going on. I am enjoying this game. It's not bad. Also, it's on sale right now for 30% off, you guys. Like $6.69 on Xbox One. So if you don't win a copy, but you are still intrigued, like I am actually genuinely intrigued by this, then I suggest you pick up a copy while it's on sale, because that's a good price. Yeah, it really is, homie. And the graphics are good. Like, and... I mean... Just compared to the very similar Layers of Fear, it does seem to be a much better produced game. So what's down that way? Is that a corner? Yeah, that is a corner. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. There's two paths. But it is very dark, yes. And many scary games are like that. 
door is locked and we need a key to get in and I hear crying. That's a good question. Which engine is it made in? Did anyone notice during the startup sequence? I don't think I saw. No, I wasn't paying attention. How unusual, Tyler. How unusual. Yeah, very rare for me. So I understand you've played some Pinball FX3 lately. Yes, I have. It's cool. Which tables were you playing? I played the uh, new old tables, so they remade. They have the license for Stern and Williams Pinball now. And so they're remaking tables like how Pinball Arcade does or used to do. I don't know if they're still doing that. Pinball Arcade lost the license, and they deserve to lose the license. Oh yeah, they suck. Yeah, they miss... That game has a very bad user interface, and they just totally mismanaged it, so... They take forever to release tables, and, like, they're they're good at recreating tables, and they're bad at, like, virtually every other thing in the exactly. video game world. Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, ah, what the hell? He just disappeared, and I got hit by some flying object. So yeah, Zen having that license is probably a good thing, although I know that purists will probably not be happy with it because they'll, they'll think that the pinball arcade ones are the, you know, most pure ones. I don't know. Like our old friend Adam? Yeah, I don't know how big of a pinball nut he was, though. He Well, he only he's liked... pretty purist on other things. He only liked pinball arcade. I would actually oh, let he? me pick up the duck that time. Yeah, like he did not like pinball effects because of either the physics or because of the tables being unrealistic, I forget. Yeah, and they did change the physics for the Zen pinball one. There's a, there's just what's called like nor uh, normal version, and or, or I don't remember, because they call it arcade like you're in the arcade, because arcade to me always sounds like, you know, goofy version. I think arcade is the regular version. Maybe it's classic version, I can't remember. But they made the physics a lot more just realistic and, and re I guess, just a lot faster. Like, the ball goes way faster in classic mode. Oh, interesting. Ah! Dickie. The heck? Dickie wants to play Peach Ball. Sen Senran Kagura Peach Ball or whatever it's called. Yeah, that Senran Kagura pinball table looks fun. Although Brian doesn't like it because he doesn't like sexuality. Oh, Brian. But it that looks like something I would play, though. Yeah, and there is a free there is a free table for the pinball effects. This new set, the fish tails table, is free. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick those up. Maybe we could. You know, we haven't done a stream in a long time. I should try to talk them into it. But they gave us a code for their disco dodgeball game, and they wouldn't give us any giveaway codes. Because they oh, have a game called Disco Dodgeball. Something like that. And yeah, huh. Zen. Ah, ball just bounced around. Play with me, but there's nobody there. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, but anyway, they have a new PR person compared to who they used to have. Their old PR guy. I believe I met him in person at some point. But yeah, it's a lady now, and she's not as generous, perhaps. Or maybe they just didn't have that many codes for that game. Who knows? Where's the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is that what is dreamt? Or that what, what we dream about? This sounds a lot like the... Um, the animated movie Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. Anyway, tell me, dear Susan, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Signed, Eddie. Yeah, no, I mean, Zen Studios is a much better company. Like, the people who make Pinball Arcade are not as incompetent as the people who make Space Hulk Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> Certificate of death. Name of deceased. Theodore Dowell, age seven. Oh, the kid died. Died in family home. Strangulation in sleep. Hey, who strangled him? Did the dad kill him? That's not good. Daddy, why did you allow him? Why did you allow him? That is some slight bad translation. They're just using words you would never actually use. Why did you let him? That's what it should be. A Digimon pinball machine? Seriously, Dark Ovo? That is the coolest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I didn't know there was one. Ah! I had Pokemon pinball on Game Boy Color. Oh, that must have been good. Yeah, it was fun. I hear a phone ringing, but I don't think I'm near the phone. How are the controls in this game? Uh, 
Or unless you're asking about the Famicom Mini, but I don't think you are. Controls are fine. You can invert everything if you want, but I mean, you're just walking around, you know, right stick, left stick. There's nothing complicated about it. Daddy. Answering the phone. Daddy. The phone is very, um, what was that game called? P.I.? P.I.? T.I. What was that game called? The... L.A. Noir? No. Resident no. Evil? Is a demo game that got cancelled and Kojima oh, made it. Yeah, that one. Um, P P E. P T. P T. There you go. Physical training. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Darker player won something at a conference. Must have been nice. I haven't won anything in a long time. But you know, Tyler, Razor reached out to me about doing a holiday gift guide, and I think I might actually get some free Razor stuff again. That'd be cool. Yeah, I've really missed that. Because what happened was, at a certain point, I got, like, edged out of dealing with them at Windows Central. Mm -hmm. Somebody above me decided they wanted the free stuff. So, even though I'm the one who developed the relationship, I, you know, get pushed to the side. But anyway, ah, picture just fell down. We're back in the house. Yeah, if I can, I would love to review some more Razor stuff. What the heck? The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. How's that for good writing, Tyler? <laughs> it's deep. Yeah, it really makes you think. Oh, God. We got it. Oh, what? Is oh, man, this room is creepy. As ah! the hell? Ah! Ah. A little scary. <sighs> yeah, it is too bad PT never got a chance. That was weird. Did I die? Because I'm back in the kids' room. He's got all these fun things on his walls. Old-fashioned stuff. So, I'll give this game some props. It has some genuine... Genuine moments. It's more than you can say about Mr. Pinball FX. Where's your scary moments in that, Tyler? Um, the dragon breathes fire on one of the tables. That's pretty scary. Oh, man. Yay! Jeno subscribed. Thank you, Jeno, for resubscribing. I really appreciate it. Jeno is our stream's best Seven financial supporter. Oh. Yes. Impressive. Yeah, and he makes all kinds of donations and stuff. He's yeah. just a huge supporter of the stream and is extremely appreciated. Because, yeah, we, we put a lot of work into the stream, you guys. Even, even Tyler, he just has to get on mic, but he does give up a whole lot of Saturdays for this here stream. And, uh, yeah, all the emailing and the writing of the newsletters and the buying of equipment and setting things up, that's a lot of work. Up editing the videos and uploading them to YouTube. So it is really, really nice to be appreciated. And some of you guys do really appreciate the stream, and that's we're grateful for it. Theodore is written on the back of a shield. Yeah, you know, we've been doing this stream for four years now, Tyler. Yay, thank you, Picked Apart. A little extra donation from Picked Apart, also a very nice supporter of the stream. Four years, Tyler. It was our four-year anniversary in October, and we forgot to celebrate it. Wow. it's impressive. Yeah, I mean, and you weren't actually a co-host at the beginning, Tyler, because we didn't have a technical way to have you be a co-host. But as soon as I got the Elgato, wasn't that what was holding us back, I think? As soon as I got the Elgato, we did that Sniper Elite 3 stream, and you were my first co-host. You don't remember this? I do not. Oh, Tyler. Four years is a long time. Yeah, so, I mean, you've been co-hosting about three and a half years, because it, uh, it was in March, yeah, and we started the stream in October, so that's six months had passed. Oh, if, okay. If I'm remembering correctly. It doesn't seem like I streamed solo for that long. Oh, there's a spider on the mirror. Yeah. Well, in a, 
that's the thing, you guys. Like, it would be cool to have a special anniversary party stream, except in December we're already going to have a, ho you know, a holiday party stream. The two events, the two dates are just a little close for comfort. But it would be cool to have a special stream somehow. We'll just see what we do for Halloween, maybe. I'm getting hot in my jacket. My wife is very well as usual. Let's move to the essence of the case. You should remember that we have a similar case in the past. We had a similar case. It was the case that you took active part in. We are overworked. You might have forgotten. I think you should, with the use of suggestion, help your patient finish the dream. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask him about his past. Accepting traumatic events he has experienced could be the starting point in merging his different selves. Looking forward to your next letter. Greetings, Abraham. You don't... You don't say greetings for your thank you. Say, <laughs> you say regards or sincerely. Sincerely. Yes. I've always used regards. Make captions for deaf viewers, Darker Player suggests. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all. I mean, YouTube has an auto caption feature. Yeah, you, I mean, like ah. a, live, a live version of it. Yeah, that'd be interesting if it could do that. They would lag behind you, I think. So there's, like, steam leaking out of the ceiling in front of this one door, but I can't actually open the door, so I don't know what to do about that. Gotta shut off the steam. Well, sure, if I could find a way to do that. Is the door melting? Oh, well, you know, there are some handles over here. Yep. It's a puzzle, Tyler. One of them puzzles. Ugh, hate puzzles. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna try having them all face the same direction and see if that does it. Oh, yep, it is a puzzle. Yeah, that did not do it. Let's have them all face inside, see if that... Yeah, have them all face inside. No such luck. Maybe outside. Give us something, game. Give us a clue. None of these things did it. Go downstairs oh. to look for this. Here's the clue. Here's the clue. They found um, it already good. Yeah, the middle one's face in and the top and bottom one face out. There you go. The only thing is which one is in and which is out. The white is in. Um, if that's correct, I should be doing this. Wait, let me see. I think it's the... Re yeah, I think I've got it in the reverse right way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the white are actually out, even though it looks like they're pointing Achievement. in. Yes! I'm a plumber, apparently. Oh, this wall texture keeps... This poster it keeps changing. That was weird. Yeah, it seems to be a problem with the engine. It's not a, a deliberate thing. Yeah, it's not like a creepy poster. It's, a, <laughs> it's like a pop-in thing. Yeah, it's like changing the texture like way too close. It's funny. Yeah. Creepy. Counts. It counts as being creepy. Yeah, creepy enough for me. So it was nice they actually had the clue close by instead of a yeah. mile off. Okay, so we got a door over there. <gasps> Ooh, I got the fuses, so I was able to turn the lights on. Now I can probably go in that one door. <laughs> My daughter's got the giggles. I apologize. Um, okay, so I just found another note about the floral stuff. I don't know if that's going to play into things. The attack trumpet sound. Is that what she sounds like? So Tyler, I've been playing a whole lot of Dragon Quest 3 on my phone. How's that going? Oh, it's very fun. It's just really long, you know, like I don't know how much progress I'm really making. Because I can only, you know, some days I can only play like maybe 30 minutes in the day. I'll probably put a, about an hour into it, hour and a half today. Yeah, it's a big game. Patient Edward 41. More audio logs. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie 
suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. <laughs> I have to think about what kind of therapy. I okay, will darker player, we don't have to think about that. So, was there anything important in that audio log I wasn't listening to? Oh, oh, look at this. The kid made a painting, and there's the family, and also this dark shadow off to the side. That's probably who ended up strangling him. It's always the shadow. Ah, dang shadows. Can't live with them, can't live without them. It's in the dishwasher. In the bottom. Is that Folger's coffee? Oh, the phone. If it's not, then it should be. My what? Are you in like a flashback? It's right there. It's in Just the get same it. Same area. What'd you say, Tyler? I said, are you in like a flashback? Are you in the same area or the I've, same? Just yeah. in the, the same house. I've returned to the house. Like okay. it looks Just like you're going in. Very, very what? Sepia My, tone. No, like very right there. Historic, but I guess it's set in the twenties, so. Sorry. What a cute painting. Be yeah. more specific. Shh. Steven? Are you here? Steven? It's Eddie. Something's okay. going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, we got another kid's painting. This one's weird. Yeah, I'm trying to get her to give me a mug without having to get up to get it. You need to be more specific. Getting a mug is a pretty tough job. Harder than you would think. Uh oh, what was that? And she got water on my glasses. You guys sit down and stop being annoying. Dishwasher left all this residue on it. Do you have a dishwasher? Gotta get that, gotta get that finished jet dry in there. <laughs> yeah, I do have them. Does yours perform well? Ours never really has. It, it does. It didn't at first, um, but I found a good mixture. But yeah, I always fill it really full of the jet dry. Make sure that's 100 percent full, and that helps a lot with the streakiness and the stuff, whatever that stuff is called. Uh, residue. Um. Yeah. Just the the soap scum type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Icky says don't use the dishwasher. Yeah, Icky, you're probably worried about using five cents of electricity. <laughs> yeah, life's too short to wash dishes by hand. Definitely. Like, I'll hand wash things that I know the dishwasher won't clean properly or right. that I need faster, but yeah. Yeah. He says they don't do a good enough job. Oh, look at this. This little kid's weird clay thing, which matches the drawing, is strapped to the patient table. Ah, that is a bizarre little you? thing. It's weird looking. It looks like I picked it up, though. A doll. Uh-oh. There's wind-up music playing. Well, don't connect your dishwasher to, like, the sewage line it can use. <laughs> connect it to the water line. Yeah. That's the problem. He tried to wash it with sewage once, and he just got yeah, burnt. Yeah, the, the water comes from that, that weird part of the ocean or gulf that he was talking about where no one goes in it because it's all gross. Oh. That's why he hasn't been to Japan lately, right? He can't swim there anymore. Uh, Dark Obo prefers hand washing as well. And see, that makes me think of a little Wayne's World reference joke to make, but I can't make it. You don't remember the line, do you, Tyler? Um, no, I don't remember. Oh, it's when they when they were being like introduced to the TV uh, station. They were talking to Russell. Oh yeah. Wayne makes a good joke. He's like, "Excuse me, Russell. I believe I requested." <laughs> That's right. 
Such a good movie. Yeah, it is. Both of them are funny. Yeah, I gotta watch one of those. Yeah, this did leave some really bad streaking. Oh well. I mean, I would... I would say the hand washing is probably works a little better because of the streaking and stuff, but yeah. it's just... You put the crap in the dishwasher, you put soap in it, and then you're done. Like... It's yeah. no work. No darker player, not because it's racist, because because it's a little naughty. And uh, yeah, nowadays we have to, you know, we just have to be careful nowadays. Okay. Okay, India. Shh. Sorry. It's a party at Paul's house. Sorry. Yeah, growing up, I never had a dishwasher, and so my mom washed dishes, and me and my brother had to dry them, and they were, it was always miserable. We did not have one either. Ah, the elevator just left on its own. St. Jonah Hospital. Yep, so. Oh, let's go find somewhere to go. I wonder how long this... He leveled up his wife. Yeah, uh, mine is not a big help with the dishes, unfortunately. Looking for somewhere to go. Reinstall, reinstall the fuses. Yeah, I... Earlier, yes, I did that in the house. So now I'm back to the doctor's office. Have you picked up a flashlight yet? No, that would be nice to have. So at some point you'll get one. You're about halfway through the game, it looks like, according to this guide. But I've only gotten two achievements. Mm hmm. I believe... Oh yeah, look at the achievements. It says, analyzing your letters, I believe the problem is connected with blank. Please give it some more thought. I'm worried that you and your, about you and your family. When I come back from blank, I will visit and we will talk. Send your wife and child someplace. Make sure they're safe. Ah. So, they knew that there was some imminent... Oh, more recording. 41. Day. Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family and pathology... I've decided that yeah, I it's use definitely all not just a uh, play through it once at your own pace and get all the achievement type game. What a shame. Because, like, enough. games where the movement is really slow like this, replaying them is excruciating. Yeah, observe. Speaking of Party Hard, Party Hard 2 just came out on Steam, I believe, which means that it'll come to Xbox shortly thereafter. The one where you murder party partiers in other houses? I think so. I don't really like that premise. Yeah, it has a weird premise. But we did stream, we gave away one of the that developer's games. It was the one that was like a neon-colored roguelike. Um, what was that game called? It was only about three, four months ago. Earlier this year, for sure. Um, it supports two-player local co-op, but I didn't have anybody to play with me. Women receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during sleep. So, yeah, there's some grammatical errors right there. Multiple women, huh? Yeah. And only one child strangled in sleep. Oh, look, and the, the clue that had been on the wall is no longer there. It's just a regular vision chart now. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, what was that game called? It's from the same people who published Party Hard, which is Tiny Build. Was it... Like, was it a first-person one? Or no, a it's over, person one? All or of their... Second? Yeah, overhead view. Like, all their games have the, a similar overhead view look. Oh, do Most they? Of them do. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of them, anyway. Yeah, Neon Colors, the character you play as, has a scarf and he has a sword. And it's a... Oh, yeah, yeah. I n now I remember what it was. It looked yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, what was that called, though? I don't know. Uh, nobody in the audience recognized it either. Some of you guys won codes for it. But you won't speak up. Registration. Okay, let's go register. Hmm. 
I always wonder why they make the walking speed so slow in these games. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they think it helps with the atmosphere, but it, it's not good for the player experience, user experience. It would be a pad, you know, like if you couldn't, well, if you didn't walk that slow, you'd be done in 40 minutes or something. I guess so, but still. And I just walked by some mirrors and I had no reflection, which is a little bit of a design mistake on their part. Just yeah, don't have mirrors. Like games, though. Yeah, exactly. Just have them be broken or something. Exactly. Found another rubber ducky. Old school toilets. Hey, yeah. Uh... Ma Mitch, the thing to do is not to kill them all. Oh, another one of those <laughs> creepy toy things. Like in the drawing. Oh, yeah. Looks like a monkey. Oh, great. More of that music. Yes, there definitely should be... Wait. I was wrong. There is a run button. How did I not know this all this time? Oh, my goodness. Left trigger is the run button. Classic Paul. <laughs> hey, at least I figured it out before the end of the stream. Still not all that fast, but it's faster than it was. Yeah, it's better. That's what the default walking speed should be. The police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. So the radio... Yeah, you're... I'm sorry? Go. Oh, your mom box is saying, like, you're a ghost and so you don't have a reflection. Apparently. Or a vampire. There you go. But the radio just said that his family was murdered by their gardener, Edward. Oh, another Rorschach inkblot thing. Okay, that doesn't tell me much. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, there, we got a drawer. Oh, another one of those creepy toys. Nice and creepy. This is a nice break. You know, we've been playing a whole lot of wildly different games lately, and that's that's pretty fun. Ah! Ah! What the? Whoa! Things are shaking around. It got real dark in here. Not all the way dark, but... Where do I go? What do I do? You vote that the machine picks you voted for. I see there are a bunch of reports. Texas machine's not picking the right Senate candidate. When it's... Oh, well, that's interesting, Mimich. That's not good. But I'm not straight voting Democrat this time. Ah! Because, uh, as we may have discussed last week, I actually like one of the Republican candidates. Ah. Oh, we got another one of these forced rail sequences. What's the guy's name who I liked, Tyler? Um, that Beto guy? Yeah, that's the one. He's a Democrat. No, he's a Republican. Isn't he running against Ted Cruz? He is, but... Oh no, maybe you're right. No, I could swear he's Republican. I mean, in Texas, a Democrat is still basically a Republican, but... <laughs> but I could have sworn there were, like, just two Republican candidates. That's not a thing that can happen? No. Okay. Okay, guys, I, I was wrong. Sorry. Never mind, I guess I can just do a straight line then. Ah! Ted... Well, yeah, we shouldn't talk about politics. I see. That's what I get for misunderstanding things. But Bet Beto or Beto, however you say his name, he actually has a lot of support in Texas. Like in polls, it's almost fifty-fifty. Yeah. So I don't. Think, I don't. Th I don't think he'll win. But yeah, it's he's unlikely. Doing a good job. Yeah, for Texas to be competitive, I mean, that means he's done something good. Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible that he could win. It's just unlikely. Yeah, I don't think he will. That'd be fine, so then he can run for president in two years. Uh, man, I don't even want to think about how that'll go. Okay, so now I've got a flashlight. It's a head flashlight, too, which is weird. So here's where the guy parked. He said he was going to park in front of the lighthouse. And, yeah, the door is fluctuating. The heck? Oh, it's all dark and loading. Oh, you are too, Darkobo? I forget. Were you, you're not the guy who lived in the woodlands, are you? Because one of our viewers lived in the woodlands.
Well, oddly enough, I have just had to replay the part where I get the flashlight. So maybe yeah, I'm not I think you. I think you're dying or something. Like how you said you're dying or whatever. Yeah, it just doesn't tell you that you died and you don't see why. Did like I mean, is you, are you not getting like any sounds of like getting killed or anything? Nope, nothing like that. Mm. But it does seem that it wanted me to go a different way. So I think it just kind of warps you back to where you were, basically. To nudge you in the direction of a different direction. Sometimes... Well, yeah, you're right, picked apart, but I think it's only getting worse, and it will only continue to get worse, but we'll see. Sometimes I suffer terribly because I have to restrain myself. When I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand, I imagine us, together, with cold steel in your bowels. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, this is a creepy love letter from Eddie the Gardener. <laughs> I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fading lips. That's horrible! Worst gardener ever, Tyler. <laughs> I found some duct tape and it let me pick it up. Now maybe I can go in that in the greenhouse like I wanted to. Ah! ah. <laughs> it gets you. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty typical what movies do to get scares, but, or movies and games and stuff, but oh, yeah. it's still funny. But I mean, like, there's no reason he should have popped up there other than, you know, a classic jump scare. Ooh, a drawing. Can you draw as well as that, Tyler? Tell the truth. No. I wish. They're oh. obviously professional drawers. <laughs> yep, they hire only the best around this place. Oh, apparently Silent Hill 2 has a character named Eddie. Do you know the only Silent Hill I ever played all the way through was Downpour? Which some people don't like, but I thought was quite a good game. I've never played a Silent Hill game. <laughs> well, thank you, Mongvox. I mean, I do kind of... I do start a little bit. So, looking through this kind of portal door thing, there's a guy with, like, a bird mask on in there. Creepy. Birds are creepy. Yeah. Oh, did I die again? God! It worked me back again. What the heck else am I supposed to do? This is getting annoying. Tyler, would you mind checking the guide? Just go to the flashlight. Uh, yeah. This is right I mean, after I the know flashlight. What, I know what you're supposed to do, but you could at least look around a little bit. Okay, I'm missing something important. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's fairly obvious to at least check out. You've walked by it a couple times. Well, then tell me if I need to look to the side or something, won't you? Okay. Right now, it's not where you are. Okay. So we got Eddie's note. There's a little wind-up mouse. That's cute. Let's see anything I can pick up out here. Ah! It still did it! <laughs> he got you again. Darn it! Eddie is the worst. Does it play sounds too when that happens? Yeah, it's like. <sighs> yeah, I figure. Alright, so. I think the only other thing that I haven't tried is just going back towards the start. Uh, no. No, I really think I have to go back to the start, Tyler. The start of the level? Yeah, I mean, where I warped in, except there's nothing there. Okay. Yeah, no, there's not. So, oh, the there's a door. path by... The, I see, there's a path by the van that I hadn't noticed. And I can open it, and there's a letter inside. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a... Look, it's a drawing of a choo-choo. <laughs> oh, Alan Wake has come back to Steam. That's great. I always wanted to play that. I think the, anim cool. the enemies are kind of boring in design, but it still yeah, seems yeah. cool. It's a little long, too, for like so much of it is just out in the wilderness and like the exact same environment. So that like, gets a little annoying. Achievement! Electrician. I solved the puzzle with electricity at home and garden. Some bad grammar. Sorry, Mimich. 
Yes, an achievement, and I can go back in here without dying. Like, that is pretty uncreative to not have a death sequence at all. Yeah, it's bad. It's like, you put all this work into your game and you can't have something visually happen to indicate that the player has died. Now oh, we got some hooks. Ah, look, there's a grave. And the wind-up mouse. I read a book by uh, by a famous Japanese author. It's called The Wind-Up Bird Chronicles. Dead boy was buried. It, was it good? Yeah, it's really good, but also is really weird. It is surreal. I think you would call it surrealism, in fact. Japanese author Harumi Murakami or something like that. He is, he's great. He's written a lot of really good things. But the book is very long, and still the English translation edited out a bunch and kind of hurt how much sense the story makes. As a result of an ongoing... I wouldn't mind rereading it sometime. And, it, like, it's a book that gets studied in college, even. You know, like, you can buy a textbook about the book because that's how complicated it is. Ah. Uh. So we have just found a news article that tells us that the son was murdered and buried in the house by the gardener. In the greenhouse, that is. Phone's ringing. Let's go answer it. That sounds cool, Mamich. I've always wanted to read that. Whoever translated this game is not familiar with contractions. She is so cold. Whereas you would actually say, she's so cold. Yeah, but you wouldn't type it. Um, but it wasn't someone typing, it was... I know, it was someone talking. Yeah. Turn that TV off. We're back in the house. Ah, what the heck, it's... Look at that, like, the whole wall is busted out and there's, like, a red cave. But there's nowhere to go in it. That's weird. Oh, and the TV came back on, even though I turned it off. Ah! The heck! <laughs> ah. You watched the scary movie. Oh, you yeah. got another achievement? Yes. Nice. So, yeah, at least I'm getting some. Good and creepy. Yeah, this... So it's not a game that constantly fills me with dread, but it does have scary moments, and that's more than I expected from it. So, big props to Red Limb Studio, the generous developer who allowed us to do this stream. Unforgiving Crows, Animal Psychology. Every morning, two crows named Thought and Memory are released and fly above the world. Do you know what, what that's from, Tyler? No. The two crows named Thought and Memory are from Norse mythology. They belong to Odin. Oh. So how about I know that? All of, I know all about Norse mythology. I played God of War. Sweet. We'll see. Were, the, were Odin's crows in it? There were crows, but I don't think they were or Odin's crows. Maybe they were Odin's crows, but there are more than two of them. Yeah, so probably not. Just Those would be generic crows, most likely. Good luck, everyone. Well, you know, my favorite author, Neil Gaiman, I talked about this once, but he actually wrote a book of Norse mythology, a new... I bought the hardcover of it, and it's good. I was reading it to the wife for a while. Okay, so where else can I go? I guess I can go upstairs. Creepy painting. Oh, we got more of that red cave stuff, like, off to the side here. The frame rate is hitching a little bit as I walk around. It looks like it's a little too complex an environment. Ah, Link says Odin's ravens were in it. That's right, they were they were ravens in it, yeah. They in your crows. face. Oh, okay, same difference. But there was 50 of them, not two of them. They were a collectible as dumb. Neat. Okay, well, 
Yeah, in the mythology he has too, thought and memory. A girl threw herself under a train. So apparently your player character hid all traces of this. Okay, whatever. That's not some huge revelation to me. Another hallway. Lots of hallways in this game. <laughs> yes, there are. So, if you like hallways, it's basically a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it can't be a, can't be a good corridor sim simulator without a bunch of hallways. I guess not. Oh, we're upstairs. Came out this door over here. Oh, there's a bird and there's some kind of text on it. Let's see what the text is. But I'm more afraid that memory may return. Weird. Who knows? So how far along does it look like I am in the game at this very moment, Tyler? Um, 60%. Uh, it's a shame it would have been fun to actually finish it. March. <laughs> March. March. Yeah, maybe 70%. But there's still a good six sections to go. Six, seven sections. <laughs> I feel that we could go another 15 minutes. What do you think? I'll hang around for that long, sure. All right. You got that, folks? 15 more minutes of stream because we love you guys so much. We love hanging out with all of you. I'm stuck on Dark Souls anyway, so when I turn it back on, I'm just going to die a whole bunch. What exactly is giving you trouble? Just a couple bosses that I don't know how to hit them. And then, like, it takes forever to get to them, so then you go there and you try to figure it out, and then you die, and then you go there and you try to figure it out, and you die, and... Just kind of repeat that. Wow! Oh, uh, a bunch of crows just flew through the window. So there's not <laughs> a closer checkpoint that you maybe have missed? No, there's not one. Bummer. I, I don't uh, like to Google answers, but I did Google for if there was a closer checkpoint and there wasn't one. Eventually I'll just Google how to beat the bosses, but I'll give it a little while longer. Yeah, I mean, if you get stuck, there's no sense in just being stuck and frustrated. That'll Yeah, I mean, playing. I don't get to the point of frustration, but I will give it, you know... 30 minutes, an hour, however long I feel is necessary to try everything that I can think of. Uh, what's happening? Oh, it's a movie. Can I move? Did I you die I'm... again? No, I think I'm actually slightly moving. It's like the world is coming down around me. On Monday, Eddie was born. Eddie was born. The heck? The place is falling apart. On Friday, he had a family on his own. Wednesday, his dreams did not allow him to play. Icky, don't forget about Tyler's Pinball FX3 article. Yeah, Icky, I need my clicks. So your super nice guy editor can make the profits he deserves. That's right. He did the doom. Yeah, just, <laughs> this is weird because like a lot of times the English will be fine and other times it's just totally wrong. What's happening? I can't see anything. I don't like it. Icky, that's not even that old, okay? It's like 10 days old. God. <laughs> Quite old. Icky's always got to throw in his two cents <laughs> in there. Yeah, thanks a bunch, Icky. Yeah, as a matter of fact, guys, I'm working on my Valtherian arc review. It's just that I have so much grading to do, and it's really keeping me from finishing the game, because I thought it'd be nice to finish it if I could. The heck? Ah, there's... What's that? I don't like that. Test a new therapy, waiting for results. Okay. Feels like it's been ages, he says. 
Well, let's go ahead and click on it and find out. Right on. Yeah, this part does look like an unfinished game, but I'm sure it's deliberate. What game are you playing? Rise of Insanity, I told you. It's fun. Bogan. Bogenhaven. That's a fun word. Yeah, good old Bogenhaven. The ah. Weird stuff's happening, and there's a red and green soccer ball. It's like a Christmas soccer ball. It's ten days old. Thank you, I guessed ten days, and I was right. Swish. Paul won Icky Zero. Bad, bad editorializing Icky. <laughs> they look like marshmallows. They do look like big marshmallows. Ah, look at this creepy guy playing the piano. Big, delicious marshmallows. This Eddie guy is nuts. He's 10 pounds of crazy in a 5 pound bag. Okay, so... Moving right along. Ah, ghost kid! Oh, and he fell off the bridge. Let's fall off after... Oh, the bridge is extending for us. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Eki. But I didn't have his time-consuming a job. What? Are, whose are those? These old glasses. Oh. Will they hurt my eyes? Yes. Um. Ah, the bridge is, like, boxing me in. Where do I go? Guys, I'm boxed in by a bridge. I have no idea what to do. Are you running? I'm not. I'm just... It's like the ends of the bridge folded up. Yeah, no. Believe me, I miss writing in some ways. I don't miss the deadlines. I still have deadlines now. It's just school deadlines. But... There's no other buttons. Yeah, like, are you trapped in the, between those two? Yeah, I am actually... Pick up the duck. What, did you see a duck? Oh, there it is. Yeah, That's what it was. Thank you, I was missing it. Oh, he squeaked. Robert Ducky, you're the one. So now we got, like, a white light and nothing discernible. Ah, okay. India, yeah, stop making noise. We've got a door floating out in the middle of nowhere. I guess we'll go to that. What's on the other side of this door? I bet it's a kitchen. <laughs> oh, okay, stepping through that way didn't... Oh, there's another door. Yeah, sorry for missing that, guys. Very good observation on all of your parts. Loading! I might just stay up and finish this, even though I probably only will get, like, one more achievement for doing it. I'm having some ginger ale. You have anything good to drink, Tyler? Nah, maybe in a little bit. I still need to make myself a little dinner. Ooh, it's raining outside. You used to eat before the stream. What happened? Uh, I've been having late lunches on Saturdays. I play Dark Souls. When I wake up, I play Dark Souls for a bunch, and then I eat you when know, I'm starving, and then I'm not hungry before the stream. Did you say you eat you eat Dark Souls for lunch? That's right. I've been eating it for lunch. Okay, that's different. So she... The wife just told me to go to the bathroom or the bedroom? I can't even tell what she said. But I do like the rain. It's been very rainy here in Texas. It's been annoyingly so. I like rain. We don't ever get rain here. Aw. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I do enjoy Achievement Explorer. You open 80 shelves and sideboards. Okay, I don't know what a sideboard is, but... I think it means cupboard. Uh, it's got to, Tyler. It's got to. I don't it's have like time. A board. It's like a board that's on the side. A 
weird note. Uh, but yeah, like, I do enjoy the rain. It's beautiful. Don't love driving in it. The other day I had to walk in it for about 30 minutes before my doctor's appointment that I waited a month for. And that really sucked, let me tell you. Cause, yeah, 30 minutes of walking in the rain would probably be annoying. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't seem like it's that much rain when you're driving, but if you're actually walking around in it, like, it is a very amplified sensation. Oh, look at that creepy painting. Okay, I went in the... I don't see anything else to do in here. I'm gonna make one more pass. Weird mirrors that don't work, and that's fine, because that's better than not being able to see yourself. <laughs> nope, there's nothing else in the bedroom. I just wish there was more of an indicator of where to actually go. Ah! Maybe out that way. There was a weird shadow out over here. Nope, not this way. So just a reminder guys, if you didn't win this game and you think it looks interesting, and I do think it's pretty fun, it is... Honey, the towel from the bedroom? I forgot about it completely. The heck? I have to go to the bedroom again. Uh, it's on sale for six sixty nine on Xbox One, which is a good price for this kind of game. Very fair. Okay, so where's this towel she forgot in the bedroom? Do you keep a towel in the bedroom, Tyler? Don't answer that. <laughs> she said bedroom. I see zero towels. Oh, oh, now there's a cabinet you can open that you couldn't before. Towel up. Now I can go in the bedroom, I mean the bathroom, yes. Like I've been needing to do for about 30 minutes now. Oh, and I hung it on the towel rack. Oh, but now I can't read the little thing that was on the thing. Ah. The heck? Ah! The mirror broke. It's like the developer heard my feedback while I was playing the game and changed it right there on the fly. <laughs> Steven is my employer and I owe him a lot. Oh, Edward is saying this. I know this is not a discussion to be held through a letter. Let's meet in the garden in two days, the usual spot. So has the wife been having an affair with Edward, even though he's totally psycho, crazy go nuts? Hard to tell. Oh, we got a phone call again. Everybody's quiet tonight. Of course, we've lost some people because the contest has ended, I think. Oh, loading time. <laughs> Girls do like bad boys, Icky. That is far too true. Alright, well, I guess this is as good a place as any to call it a night. If you don't mind, Tyler. Yep, that's uh, just fine. So everybody, we've been playing Rise of Insanity for Xbox One. It's also on Steam. It comes from Red Limb Studio. Regular price is $9.99 on sale for 30% off right now. I do recommend you buy it if you like this kind of game. It's pretty fun. Watch the It crowd to get that. Uh, no, I haven't, my Mitch. I wouldn't mind seeing it, though. Yeah, anyway, thank you very much, Red Limb Studio, for donating these codes, because otherwise we wouldn't have had a creepy game to play for the stream, and that would have been a drag. So I hope everybody has a happy Halloween. If I can, I'll do a Halloween stream, and I hope you will turn in for that, because I need your support. Thank you, Tyler, for co-hosting. Yep, happy to be here. Excellent. Thank you, Icky, for running the contest. You always do the best job of it. And I think Brian actually deliberately of avoided the stream at a certain point to because he knew the game was supposed to be creepy. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of Brian tonight, have you? He was here right early. No, I haven't on, seen him chat much. Yeah, I, I think it's because he, I mean, 
It's not even that scary, guys. I was a little scared, but only because I'm playing it. Yeah. Oh, is he on holiday? I don't know. Okay. Free candy stream. That sounds like fun. If I can find a way to give everyone free candy, I totally will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And next week, I believe the schedule for next Saturday is we are going to play a game called I Hope that I've been wanting to stream for a Research long time. Team. It's a, a game that the intelligence has children. something to do with fighting cancer. And that sounds Research, cool, and it's nice and artistic. Health. So it the might be kind of similar IQ, to this one. We'll see. Suggestion. And, during and if you haven't already checked the, the newsletter, we've got a whole. Our well. schedule is filled out I almost for the month, of, and almost for the whole month of December. Phase. So you can see we're streaming lots of cool games for the next few weeks. That's going to be a lot of fun. And a, a couple of times we even have PlayStation 4 codes, so our PlayStation 4 friends are really going to enjoy those streams. Nice. Yes. Oh, another achievement. Yes, I love ending the stream with an achievement, and a scary movie. You listen to every tape recorder. Yes, I actually made all the collectibles. Good job, Paul. Thank you once again, everybody. I love you all. Tune in next Saturday. If we do stream on Halloween, please tune in to do that, too. And whatever you do, don't hate. Appreciate. See you, guys. I'll hold those little SOBs.